Hi guys, you're welcome to the Lares Studios. This is another episode of Android programming. Uh, in this particular tutorial, we'll be talking about the Android Date Picker. Uh, the Date Picker allows us to select uh, day, month, year in the user interface. So in this particular tutorial, we're going to learn how to implement the Date Picker in an Android application. In order to display a Date Picker dialog, we will define the Date Picker fragment class that extends the dialog fragment and return a date picker dialog from the fragment on create dialog method. Uh, we'll be going straight to Android Studio in order to explain uh, this source file. This is a very short one. We're just going to integrate the date picker and we get the return of the particular date, uh, month, year, and uh, day that we actually uh, selected. Right there in uh, Android Studio, I have my source file, the build gradle, module app, and the project session. Uh, I still maintain uh, the same dependencies, no library included. We have the Android support app compact, which is uh, actually uh, created by default. Uh, the compiler SDK version and the Bluetooth version, that's fine. I'll be moving straight to the layout where I have the activity main XML of this particular application. There's a relative layout with the layout with the night match parents, the padding button left, right, and top are all 16 dbs. This calling from the app calendar view, you know, that's the package to, of this uh, application, uh, the main activity. We have the button, whereby we assign an ID to it called pick dates or PIC dates. Uh, the layout width is match parent while they are to drop content. Uh, the text on that particular button is called like a pick date. And we have an on click uh, set on this called uh, date picker. And we have a text view to actually uh, return the, the particular date uh, we actually selected, uh, whereby the layout is below the pick date and the layout written I also match parent and graph content. I'll be looking at the main activity, which is actually the uh, the logic of this uh, particular application. We get to import uh, the app dialog fragment, date picker dialog, the date picker, the date format, the calendar, and the Gregorian calendar, because we're actually using the, the Gregorian uh, calendar at uh, date. Uh, the main activity extends our compact activity and implements the date picker dialog on date set listing our create method set the content view the super on create uh, it sets its content view to the layout activity made that I just explained now we have the date picker this callback method called the date picker fragment class whereby the date picker fragment class returns the calendar view based on the uh, argument view the date picker fragments is being instantiated with a new keyword and create an object from it whereby we have to show the get support fragment manager passing the date as the parameter uh we have the set date whereby we're going to set the date on text view and this is actually having a, an object as a as is a parameter calendar we have the final date format we get the instance and get the date format which is medium now the text view, we're going to find the view by ID on the uh, XML, which is the show date. And uh, we set the text appropriately to the date format and get the calendar. It gets the time, we get the date and the time. To receive a callback when the user sets the date, we need to have on date set method, whereby we have our four parameters, the view itself, which is the date picker, uh, calling from the date picker class. We have the year, we have the month, and we have the day now the calendar is going to instantiate the new gregorian calendar whereby we created an object from it called how passing the year the month and the day as the parameters now we set the dates calling the set date our uh, method set date method here yeah, right there and we're passing the call object as the parameter inside the calendar or uh, parameter over there now we need to create a date picker fragment class that extends the dialog fragments but we're going to define the on create dialog method to return an instance of the type of date picker dialog so that we are going to have a return type you know but we have the save instance state you know it's going to save the present state 
because we're trying to we've been imputing the year the month and the date so all this must be saved whereby we get the instance uh we have the integer year calling the calendar year the same thing goes for the month and for the day now what we're going to return we're going to return the date picker dialog it gets its activity and and the on date set listener whereby we get the activity of the year the month and the day so this is going to be returned on the show date uh uh session uh let's look at the manifest the manifest is just a uh, simple kind of manifest whereby we have the launcher activity which is the main activity of the intent filter in question i'll be uploading a source file to my github account you can add the date picker to your form you know you can tweak it up or you can integrate this majorly you integrate it into form and where we need uh the user to select the date you know uh, in the gregorian format as the year the month and the uh, and the day so i'll be uploading this to my github account as i've said earlier and i'll be showing this in an android emulator so stay tuned yeah i go with the application the calendar view uh, application now we have the button which is the big date this can actually be uh incorporated anywhere in your form it's not necessarily you should just be a standalone here since uh there's going to be a callback which is actually going to hold it and you can actually catch that up gracefully uh anywhere you want uh the callback should be it can be in the input type or it can be anywhere so i, I click on this big date will actually call on the uh calendar dialog whereby we have the uh the dates to pick now the present date and time uh the dates is actually august 27 2016 is saturday but i would like to extend it to actually make it uh look different now i have to pick 20 29th of august 2016 or 29th of september 2016 evidently we are not yet in september but this is fine let me just pick this 29th of september 2016. click on done will actually populate uh, the selected date right beneath it which is actually holding this from the activity main which is the text view to show the date so this can actually be something it can be the input field it can be somewhere else in your form so you can actually uh catch this up uh, very well and make it look smooth and this is fine incorporate your uh the, the dialogue date dialogue in android into your application into your form into your ui and continue to build on android development thank you very very much for hanging out with me throughout this tutorial don't forget to subscribe to my channel have a wonderful time bye bye